Alright, previously I made a video about building an electric bike battery using the uh, cordless tool battery packs and uh, some people wrote in a comment that uh, you can use laptop battery cells like these uh, to build the uh, battery pack for the electric bike and uh, they are the same so today I'm going to prove it to you uh, whether or not these cells from a laptop battery are the same as the cell from a cordless tool battery. The reason why I want to compare these two uh, battery packs is because they're not the same at all. They look the same. I mean, besides the color, they look exactly the same. They're all 18650. But other than that, that's where the similarity ends. They are completely different. And uh, even though I explained that uh, the discharge rate are different, uh, some people still adamantly uh, keep saying that they are the same. Well, they are not. This one here has a discharge rate of 1C or max 2C, meaning it can discharge up to two times its capacity. So if this is 2000 milliamp hour or 2 amp hour it can discharge up to 4 amp this one can discharge up to 22 amp which is 11 C this this cell here is 2000 milliamp also around 2000 milliamp that's why we got 4 amp hour here right 4 amp hour which is 4000 milliamp hour 5 s uh, 5 s 2p pack so each cell is 2000 milliamp hour. But the discharge rate, even though they have the same capacity, right? Each of these are the same 2000 milliamp hour, milliamp hour. This cell has a discharge rate of 22 amp or 11 C. 11 times its capacity. So I'm going to prove to you that they are completely different by running my cordless tool here. So let's get started. And before I get started, let me show you, I already peeled off my tape here to show you the model number of this uh, 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 cell from a battery pack. I got it from a Dell battery, a laptop battery. I built it myself, by the way. Uh, 5S, 2C, 20 volts total, right? 4 volts each. 5 in series, 2 in parallel. The same here, 5S, 2C. Right. So let's show you this one first. Model number is U. Let me see if I can focus on my camera here. Model number US eighteen six fifty GR, and the brand is Sony. Okay. This charge rate is around one or two C. You can Google it for yourself. Google it. Okay. This sells is the model number is imprinted it's not printed it's rather imprinted on the cells it's kind of hard to see but let me can let's see if we can um use a light here to the light reflection here you can see the model number see that you are 18650 rx Right. You are 18650 RX and the brand is Sanyo. Okay. Sanyo. Right here. Kind of hard to see, but I think you can see that. Right. Sanyo. Sanyo, you are 18650 RX. So this charge rate is 22C. This charge rate of this pack, 2C max. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's make sure that these two are charged up right, for this comparison. So let's try this one here. Two battery. Uh, let's see. 17.9 volts. And if I press the test, test button here on the battery pack, I see two bars, 
it's only half charged okay I don't even need to fully charge this one <laughs> for this test and let's see this pack okay this uh, laptop battery pack 20.3 volts so it's about 20.4 it's about 95% full right 4.2 volts each times 5 is 21 right so 20.4 is almost full okay so it's ready to go right first up let's try the real cordless 2 battery this is a 4 amp hour battery 20 volts made by cobalt it's a cobalt 2 okay and uh, this is my cobalt 20 volt impact driver so I'm just gonna drive five screws into this piece of wood here All right I'm confident that uh, five screws should be enough for this test so Just gonna do it continuously, no break. Three, four, five. Well, as you can see here, it drives five screw in continuously with no trouble, <laughs> and it's still got two bars. All right, that's what it's designed for. Eh? No surprise here. I mean, it can drive hundreds of screw without break. At all. Next is my temperature test. Okay, let's see what the temperature on it right now. 19 degrees Celsius. Let's see what's the room temperature? 16, 17, 19 degrees Celsius. So about two degrees more. Oh, actually, it's 18. Okay, about one or two degrees more than room temperature. next all right next test is laptop battery pack this one is a little bit tricky because um, I got my alligator cable here and I'm trying to connect to the terminal of the cordless tool because there's no way I can attach this battery pack to my tool this one is easy right it's got clips here it's just it's made for it but not this so what I did is I use a spring a couple of springs you can see here this spring let me take it out I'll show you how I did it just a regular spring so I push it in here like so like so all right I think I'm ready now. Positive, negative, tight, not going anywhere. Let's try this. Okay. All right, in. Can't even drive one. That's it. See that? Can't even drive quarter of the screw down. That's it. Ooh, it's getting warm. Which one is warm? Whoa! Quite warm in here. Let's try again. That's it. Ooh, it's warm. Hold on, let's try, see how warm it is. Twenty, degrees. One of these is warm. Thirty-three, did I touch some? 34, 35 degrees Celsius already. Room temperature, 
16 degrees Celsius. Let's try if we can do it. That's it. That's it. Temperature. 30, 40 degrees, 42 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius. So it heats up instead of providing the power to the tool. You can see there. And it stopped. And next, let me measure the voltage. Okay, let me put this down. Without sorting this out. Let me measure the voltage. See what we got. Twenty volts. See that? Twenty volts. So you can put it here. You can easily see it. Um, Put a battery here. It's not even better. There. Twenty volts. See that? The battery is not depleted. It's completely full. It's still full. But it can't provide power to the tool. Move the camera up a little bit. Okay. Let's try again. The battery is full. But instead of providing power to the tool, it just heats up. 40 degrees. It's warm. Wow, it's warm. It just heats up. Let's try again. Ready? That's it. Stop. I'll show you my trigger. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's try. Oh no. It's warm. Let's try. What was? See what? See here. What we got? Forty Celsius, forty-three. See that? Forty. Forty-three max. A little bit bright here, but uh, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. It gets hot instead of providing power to my tool. So, there you go. That is the difference between the laptop battery pack and the cordless tool battery pack. Drive five screw with no problem. In fact, it can drive hundreds of screw non-stop without any problem. And it's only half charged. See that? This is fully charged. This is only about, what, 17, 18 volts? That's 20 volts. That's 90 to 95 percent full. This is only 50 percent full. And it can drive screw continuously, maybe hundreds of screws. This one can't even drive half the screw in. After like, what, five minutes? Only, whew. Yeah, let's say one half, but it's not really one half. Yeah, it's one half. Half of the screw in, but after about 10 tries, Alright, so to sum up, we got laptop battery cell and cordless tool battery cells. Are they the same? Absolutely not. Well, they are all 18650 battery cells, but that's where the similarity ends. And usually, laptop battery cells are higher capacity than cordless tool battery, but lower discharge rate. Because, think, think about it, laptops only use very little power so there's no reason why you have to build a high discharge rate for a laptop it doesn't make sense right so instead 
they can put more lithium and more chemical in here so it can last longer and the downside it, it, it cannot discharge too much too fast on the other uh, on the other uh, the other hand this pack here has low capacity but it can discharge really fast really quickly in a very short amount of time think of it as a sprinter this guy can sprint really fast in a very short amount of time but that's it it can't last I mean it can last long even you know the capacity but this one is usually can last longer in a low discharge uh, environment so this one here is like a marathon runner it it runs slowly but it can run further than this but because building a high discharge rate lithium cell is a lot harder than a low discharge rate these battery cells tend to be more a lot more expensive than the laptop battery cells and they are harder to find too than the uh, laptop battery cells so let's go back to the electric bike battery packs uh, can you build battery packs from uh, laptop battery cells of course you can I didn't say you cannot but there's a but here depends on your bike motor um, if it's a high demand motor uh, it requires a lot of amperage then you're gonna need to build a lot of these in parallel to keep up with the uh, high discharge rate say if your motor requires 10 amp continuously discharge then you have to build 10, 10 packs of these in parallel so we are two in parallel now so we have to we have to build five more packs of this to have 10 C discharge rate uh, in order to um, provide enough power to the motor on the other hand if you have to build five or ten packs of this to keep up with the motor you only have to use one of these if you use a call it tool battery so that's the difference between the laptop battery cells and a cordless tool battery cells.